Well, it's time to test some tires. Hey, Eric Tegler here. As you probably guessed from looking at the title and from the burning rubber at the beginning of this video, this is a video on Michelin's new performance tire, the Pilot Sport 4S. I went out to the launch event in California to drive it, learned a little bit, wrote about it for ArsTechnica.com. You'll see some of that. You won't see a lot of the goodies that were available, but you will see Justin Bell, a Le Mans winner. Well, good morning and welcome to my Ferrari California. Well, it's not really mine. It's provided courtesy of Michelin. We are driving this morning on the Michelin Pilot Experience, and I'm in a long line of sports cars. There are Porsches in front of us, and Audis behind, R8s, and Mercedes C63 AMGs. We are testing out, testing, <laughs> the new Michelin PS4S tire, which replaces the Pilot Supersport. We're going to learn more about it today with a combination road and track drive. We are driving through the Joshua National Forest, a park here in uh, Coachella County near Palm Springs, California, and it has been raining. We're in the desert, and it's been raining its, uh, well, it's been raining its things off. So I'm actually having not so much a tire experience, but I am driving a Ferrari California Turbo through mud and rain, something that 95% of Ferrari California owners will never do. We'll come back to you when we have more to report a little later on. Okay. We are actually on the track segment of the Michelin Pilot Experience, where again, we're evaluating tires. They have competition here for us, which is a good thing of Michelin to do, to give us the opportunity, and I'm trying not to get run over here, so bear with me, for Michelin to give us the opportunity to autocross their tires, the Pilot Sport 4S against uh, Bridgestone and Continental and some other tires. And uh, as you can see, there are people here on the autocross course. Um, sort of torching tires, which is always fun. So you've got this little autocross course out here. Next up is some hot lapping. And here's the car we just tracked. This uh, M4 in the flash gold color. Hey, welcome back to Twin Cam. If it looks like we're sitting in a boardroom, nah, that's not it. We're here at Thermal Club Raceway in the lounge in their very nice facility here. Seated next to me is somebody who actually knows about tires. He's Justin Bell, Le Mans winner in a Dodge Viper in 1998, yeah. correct? Absolutely, yeah. On Michelin's. On, on, exactly, yeah, on Michelin's. You know, I, I said today we've been testing tires. I don't know if we've been really testing or been just testing, period. But I can tell you a little bit about him. He can really tell you about him. In addition to Le Mans winning it in 98, he was on the podium a couple of other times. He won the uh, GTS World Championship in yeah, 97. Yeah, 97. Yeah. 97. You also, did your stuff. Yeah, yeah. Trans and Trans Am wins as yes. well. Yeah, it's uh, it, you know it's it's it is interesting, isn't it? Because when you live in the racing world, as you know, we're, we're quite mercenary as drivers. You we, have to be. We we have to be. You'll drive for whoever's going to pay you, and we're going to drive on the tires that they 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 make you uh, uh, the the, car, the team have on them. But I'll tell you what, there is a competitive edge, and this is absolutely worldwide appreciated by drivers. You have a competitive edge when you go on missions. So, you know, some of the people who know this will understand that tires are cool and you can get nice wheels on them. I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, one of the quickest ways to make a race car go faster is to put good tires on Oh, yeah, I mean, don't you find it funny? Like, I mean, I was talking to one of the engineers uh, here who, who does a lot of the club events. 
and people will put on massive turbos. They'll buy bigger brakes. They'll be, you know, I've got a bigger wing. I'm doing this and that. And it's actually like, hey, listen, mate, I'd spring for a really good set of tires because it's, it, there's a moment as we all feel. And, and this was the idea today that, you know, as you have a lot of experience. There are people here that really don't. And it, you know that moment when you go, that was good. Uh, uh, that car, those tires, the tire car combination conditions allowed me to kind of excel in, in compared to where I normally am. And for most of us, that's when a tire is progressive. You Absolutely. might be able to deal with it when it falls off a cliff. Yeah. Most of the rest of us yeah. cannot do that. Yeah. That leads you move on, me to my main question for you, given your experience. The tires that you won on driving the Viper in 98 at yeah. Le Mans and modern Michelin race slicks. Give our viewers a little idea of some of the differences. I reckon it's like, I'll use the analogy of how fast do you think a GT3 RS Porsche is compared to the IMSA, ro the road car, compared to the IMSA race car of 15 years ago? Pretty darn quick. And you just buy it right in the dealership and drive out. You roll out. So You don't have to have a racing license. No. Such is the pace of technology. But this is the this this for me is one of the most exciting things about uh, our industry is who pushes who, right? The car companies, the engineers, they're striving technology, they're pushing systems, differentials, traction controls harder here. And then we have the tire company has to keep up. Or is it the tire company that say we have the performance level in our tires and now the cars catch up? So to answer your question, I, we had a competitive advantage in the Vipers on the Michelins uh, against some of the other cars, but we were up against Porsche, who were also on Michelins. So it was an equal this fight. This was a team called Arica, Arica. run by a man named Hugh uh, de uh, yes. who now actually, if you watched Le Mans last year, you saw him in tears as the Toyota detonated with one lap to go. They were the uh, logistics people behind that. Do you know, it's just incredible to me how what we thought was grip in 1997, 98 was for the car and aero package we had. Now, when you put on a set of Michelin's in the middle of the night or whatever, you and it's cool and it's perfect, your your grip level, your threshold of performance is 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 extensive. And for me, you know, I just went around with Joe. Uh, uh, with John Edwards in the Z4 2014 yeah, car. BMW Z4 uh, GT car. With yeah. a passenger seat. And I'll yeah. tell you what, it was fun for me. I did a Facebook Live. It was silly. I was goofing and I was hamming it up a bit. But part of me is going, holy crap! Because it, you sit in the right seat of a race car and, and the world goes to a different place. And it, it made me think, you know what? We're, what we do with the, on, the, on, the, on the edge of the envelope is pretty special. And we, the road driver only they, they get the benefit of it, but they, I, I'm sad to say you will never experience what we get to experience. Well, that's why you need to come out to a racetrack yeah. sometime, A, to watch a race. Let's start there and see how the professionals do it. B, if you have the opportunity, even if it's in a street car with a professional instructor, take it. You will yeah. see the difference. And if you Cheers. own one of these nice cars, do yourself a favor, get taught how to do it properly. You know, I have a contract out, do stuff out at Bondurant, and all the time it's this op opening of people's eyes. You know, I mean, I play very bad golf. If I stand, but I think I'm really good when I'm on my own and no one else is around. And then you watch someone drive off and you go, okay, different game. So. Two questions remaining yeah. for you. What was your first car? Uh, Peugeot 205 GTI 1.9, the car lusted after by my generation in England. We like small cars, right? We bonted a bomb around the roads, loved it. Destroyed it three weeks later. This was, you, you anticipated my follow-up question. Yeah. How long did it last? Apparently that was a little over a fortnight. This is for the web, right? So I can yeah, tell you the uh -huh. truth. Um, hot new girlfriend, driver's license, cool car, tried to do two new things at once, didn't work out and uh, crashed the car, tried to lie to my father. You try lying to a, a twice world champion, five-time Le Mans winner about what you did behind the wheel. Justin's father, Derek Bell. Let's just say it all went, it all went bad. Um, but I learned a lot. And you know what? My next car was a Renault 5. So uh, I got penalized, but yeah, that's how I did it. Not an R5 Turbo. No, no, no. <laughs> One thing I didn't know about you, you apparently got popular on TV in Asia for a program that you did, I guess, for BBC or something. Yeah, it was 555 five, five Performance World back in the day. Yeah, who would have known? I'm big in Asia, it's like Hasselhoff being big in Germany. Um, do you know, it was great because it, it was ahead of its time. 
I got to, I went to Dubai and drove those, you know, the offshore class two powerboats. Oh, I went nice. to the desert. We just did really fun stuff. Produced out of Pinewood. Um, it was my first foray into television, and I was like, no, I want to be a racing driver. So I spent another 20 years doing that. But now I do the TV. Came back. And on back. that note, where, where can we see you? Well, you know, I really am trying to push a lot to my YouTube channel, Justin Bell TV. Uh, you're going to see me all year on the IMSA Sports Car Championship on Fox Sports 2 uh, and Fox Sports 1. And you know what? I get an out and about. And if anyone's got fun things for me to do, you know, I'm, remember what I said about drivers? We'll go anyway. Excellent. Thanks, Thanks mate. mate. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. Thanks. Cue the music. I'm gonna be the daughter of a wild boy, I'm gonna be the daughter of a wild boy, I'm gonna be the daughter of a wild boy, I'm gonna be the daughter of a wild boy, I'm gonna be the daughter of a wild boy, I'm gonna be the daugh